Singapore will reopen from Monday as planned after a month of restrictions. But dining in at eateries will only resume from 21st June. I do think snacks would be more heavily affected than meals in this current COVID situation. It's not easy in my life. It's, it's very, very difficult. Hi, my name is Gina. I'm running a Wade store and I'm selling uh, nine kinds of Wade's. I started my business in 1985. Anybody want to know about Wade, I will explain to them. It's like an Indian donut. Make my dough and then I will tell them there is many varieties of Wade. They have dal Wade, prawn Wade, vegetable Wade, cucumber leaves Wade and so on. You can name it. I would say like my wade is very crispy outside, inside soft. When you have one bite, you will feel like eating more. Why is my wade complicated? It's because it's secret recipe. Our name is called Wang Wang. We sell curry bowl. 顾客吃哦，就讲很注意啦，鲜料新鲜啦，里面有比较适啊。我们的咖喱包的皮啊，很脆，因为它的手工很多。这个皮呢，就是一层一层的，所以它比较耐，可以耐到八个小时脆。我们是第一间做的啦，从二十年前做到现在啦。我这边有卖 potato curry chicken 啊，沙丁啊，这 pepper chicken 啊，腌嘛，滋养。因为我这个传统一路来新加坡卖的咖喱包呢，就是马铃薯鸡肉，沙丁也是一定有。pepper chicken 新加坡我是第一个做。早上我们起来就吃一点，早上就来到这边，就开始准备我们的材料了。它里面的那种骨头啊，那些全部清理干净啊。然后过后我们还要炒。准备材料煮到来差不多两个小时了。我的东西全部哦，是已经做到不用用秤的了，我们的感觉罢了。我的列车币没有人偷得到。<笑>最多功的是在这个捞面团的时候，你要一直做一直做，一层一层那边最多功了，要八个小时了。有些人这样捞出来的，它很硬的皮。啊，所以不一样，个人个人手法不是这么容易学。二十年前我是做好吊奶的，我是做厨房的嘛，酒店有那种潮州月饼啊 k i s h b p o o n cake 啊，所以它里面是藕泥的嘛，跟住我种沙子嘛，老板就想要扣工钱啊，二十八千啊，这样子我就想扣了薪水就没有什么钱带回家了咯，所以我就想不如自己创业了。所以我想想一下，不如试看做咖喱包了。潮州芋泥月饼，它的皮也是这样一层一层的，所以我们就想，呃，可以做那个里面放那种馅料的哦，就改成做咖喱包酱哦
里面只是油跟面粉，就是要跟它分开的。这个是油，这个皮是有水的。这个哦，我们切了哦，就是说，你看啊，很多线条对吗？这个是起酥的皮。哦，以前在酒店跟师傅学的啦。我们为什么会做这个黑胡椒？因为以前我在海天楼跟那个师傅哦，他们做黑胡椒的羊扒。所以我也想拿来做这个咖喱包试看的，好不好吃？跟住马铃薯这些就自己慢慢在抓了，自己抓抓抓到就差不多成功了，就开始做生意了。这个放上那边给它一分钟，这样它的油就油出来了。I make sure my oil is hot, and then I have to wait until it floats, and then after that I turn to let it cook. Once golden brown. Then I take out. My husband always say quantity is not important, quality is more important. We started this one day since 1985 with my husband and his special recipe. My husband is a very jovial person, very loving. When he was young, he loves to eat. When I got married, he told me I love wadi, and he want to open a business. First, I plan to make at home a bit, and then try to sell like door to door. My first boy, David, he said, "Mummy, come, I go." The door to door experience, cause I was pretty young. I don't really recall much of it, but I do remember just trying like 50 pieces or so, uh, going door to door just to get feedback on on how the product was, and it was like literally just pocket money, uh, like spare spare cash that would help the family. So at the time, the government had a policy trying to consolidate all the hawkers that were all over the streets to come into hawker centres or in coffee shops. So in 1987, we started our first store at Block 57 Gelang Baru. Dad came up with about three hundred dollars, and they gathered some pots and pans and frying materials. And through the business, slowly grew to buy other things. So it was really from scratch. Not many people knows and recognize, but when time pass, people come and eat. Then they start. It is very nice. That's how they patronize the wadi. When we started this business, the wadi name was born again. One of my husband's best friend came down and said, "Why don't you put your wife's name? You should put Gina's. Put the name. Then you see your business will be boom." That's where my husband started to put Gina's wedding. True enough, <laughs> then business totally turned around. It was actually doing pretty well at the time when it was like thirty-five cents each, three for one dollar. Then what happened was in the neighboring area in Gelang Baru, they tore down all the blocks around it. Business got really affected because. The, the crowd that was walking past was no longer there. They want to demolish the whole area. We have no choice. We have to shift. The Simpan Budo, where my old place is, wow, really a lot of changes. After the Kalang Baru, my husband friend, the property agent, he told that there is one place at Simpan Budo, but you want to try? Then my husband said, why not? I don't mind, and we got it. My beginning, this place was super quiet. 
not many people know because it's totally different location. The business was very, very bad. So my husband almost want to give up. He lost hope in business, in everything. So he want to end our life, leave the children to in-law house. He really prepared already. The rope, everything was at the fence. And that last minute, there is a call. So he said, wait, wait, there's a call for me. So he answered the call. A guy said, I need to do some write-up about you and your wadi. Then my husband said, you're calling from who? He said, my name is Sito from Makasutra. After I met Makasutra, things totally different. In paper also came out, Satan paper, Sunday time. After the ride up, the queue was super long. That is really a miracle. Once the business pick up, we plan to open up Q outlet. That is what my husband was planning. Gina, tell us you've been to many places, right? Many come here. So what are the places you've gone to? Kalam Baru, the original place. Kalam Baru, okay. Bedok. 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 And after Bedok? Bedok. We came to here. Yeah, obviously, obviously. Opposite. Okay, and then? Then the Suntec. Suntec. After Suntec, yeah, now here. On that night, my husband was laughing and giggling, watching movie. Suddenly, he said, sweat, cold sweat. When he hold my hand on the way in the ambulance, I was telling him, don't to worry, you know, you take care. But I didn't know he was going to leave me. So, it's not easy. <laughs> Since he left me, it's not easy in my life. <laughs> it's, it's very, very difficult. But I never give up. Because before my husband passed on, he told me, I'm leaving, I'm so sorry that I'm leaving my children and the business to you. You have to take care. I carry on with his, his word and I hold on his word and I just carry on with the business. But after that passed on, we kind of downsized everything. It was very emotional when you see her lose the one support that she always felt. The pillar. I know she was struggling good to try to hide the emotion and trying to be strong for the three of us. I just asked her why don't I help you lah? I say come in the morning, then you, after that I go back. That's how I help her from the day one. Yeah, yeah. Some pass by, I really miss my husband. He always pushed me. Ask me to learn, always trust God, carry on with the business. I still have to take care of the family, I need to survive. So I just carry on my life that way. This is very difficult. And you have to have to deal with those things. It's very difficult. 日啊油啊喷啊你会喷到要找找其他呀啊这些要挨饿啊所以两餐没有吃三餐一餐吃嘞我们刚刚开始在这边做生意没有这么理想啊 我们的生意会慢慢越来越好，因为顾客吃了，他们蛮喜欢哦，所以他们就会买这个咖喱包啊。做了差不多七八年的时候，新广有来帮我上这个小超人哦，那时开始就很多人认识我们了。说到这个
on first contact with the curry puff, you feel the heat. <laughs> so like, you, you get like piping hot curry puff, which is quite different from the usual chain curry puff that you buy elsewhere. After that, you get the crispy, crusty, flaky exterior of the curry puff. And that is actually quite a unique thing. La. From last year, the pandemic started. 要等二十五分钟，你要等吗？二十五分钟。啊，你要等，你去order先。你预吃的好像没有这么严重，这吃的比较严重。很多这种看哦，你这发现都没有生意。也是有影响了，二三十八千这样咯。A lot of the sales for snacks comes from people wandering around and like, oh, hey, there's a curry puff store here. Let's buy some. Right, so in the COVID situation, people do less of that. A lot of people are coming out to just purchase lunch, uh, dinner, and they don't really want to stay out long. So I think the chance for impulse buy is lowered. La. I do think snacks would be more heavily affected than meals in this current COVID situation. La. For the past two years, the business very, very bad. And COVID-19 came, and more bad. Our rice bowl not enough. Because of COVID, we really uh, reduce customer. Say about around 50%, uh, 60%, that kind of thing. We can't sometimes cope up our business. Thank you. Thank you. Seven fifty, uh, twelve fifty. Thank you, brother. Phase two came. They said the customer all cannot sit down. More worse. They come and sometimes we are not prepared. Also, I mean, let's say we are starting and then we just fry. We not enough time. They don't want to wait. Oh, I cannot wait. My car waiting outside. Oh, I cannot wait. Rushing. So that kind of situation we went through. It's not easy. People call me, did you do delivery? I don't do because I don't have transport. So I always tell customers, sorry, I don't have why don't you come down? Oh, auntie, I'm staying orchard. Alama. Someone requests me to go online, but I totally don't know how to operate handphone. I don't have the grab food. Because they ask me to charge my food 180. Cannot la. People see one dollar ready, say what expensive. Now 180, I say bye bye ready. They own support ready. When it comes to delivery, you don't really think about hawker food that much because a packet of chicken rice, $5 or $4, and then you got to pay the delivery fee. I mean, it just doesn't make much sense, right? So when people deliver food, they, they buy something of a higher value, and then the delivery charge actually makes sense. Finance Minister Lawrence Wong says new cases are breaking out, including a cluster in Bukit Merah. So far, 25 cases are linked to the Bukit Merah View Market and Food Centre cluster. Last year, 
心脏手术，也不可以太劳累，所以能做多少就做多少了。是做到我们做真的不不要做的时候，就还回给政府。蛮多有人想跟我们学啦，可是我们都还没有想到要传授给别人，因为我们想到以后呃，这个手艺留给孩子先咯、哦，因为他们现在还年轻，给他去外面闯先，以后可能他会接手，有他们不要的时候，我们才另做打算。This was dad had already passed on. Mom fell and had injury. She had to be going back to India to get treatment. It was during that period where I was left to run the shop on my own, and I was struggling with it, and eventually picked it up. But it could not work for my income and mom's income as well, so I had to like step back out. We are still trying to figure out how we can mass produce the thing, because that's the only way forward. I am scared that. If mom goes one day, we may not want to put in that kind of time and effort just to stay behind over one shop because it's not scalable. Will I ever give up my career for the business? At present, I don't think I would uh, because I'm a bit more stable there. I go back to family business, just like starting from zero. People came and offer us for the recipe, but mom being very sentimental about it, I think she wouldn't want the recipe to go out to anybody else. Sadly, if it happens in that manner, then we do not know in the future if we will have this. I think this is the first time I'm going to do it. 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 假如不来做咖喱包，真的不能在家做了嘛？爸没啊，两个。<笑>有些顾客有时候讲得很有趣咯，讲说啊，没有吃我们咖喱包睡不着。那我们听了哎，蛮蛮开心。现在还能够动就做了。是，假如汽车至于还可以做，我再做了。哈哈哈哈哈。Six dollar. Yes, sir. Six and four. Six and four, right? I just get your simple line, simple business, enough to cover everything. For my retirement, I still don't have any idea. Just hoping my children will take over. In future, I will just pass the recipe to them. I say, whenever you really want to do, you do. Mummy, don't force. But this is what your father told me to do. So now I'm passing to you. You'll handle it.